everybody, it's Miss Davies here again. I hope you are still well and having fun. Thank you for joining me again. I have chosen another Eric Cole book for you. This one is called The Bad Tempered Ladybird. Are you sitting comfortably? It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybird flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have some for breakfast. But just then, a bad-tempered ladybird flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybird. Go away, shouted the bad-tempered ladybird. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybird. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the bad-tempered ladybird. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybird sweetly. It looked the other ladybird straight in the eye. The bad-tempered ladybird stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the bad-tempered ladybird. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a wasp. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? Zzz, if you insist, said the wasp, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Hey, you! said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At ten o'clock it saw a lobster. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching out its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At eleven o'clock it bumped into a skunk. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift his tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At twelve noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake. Right. The lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the bad tempered ladybird, want to fight? <laughs> if you insist, said the hyena, laughing airily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At 
two o'clock it met a gorilla. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla beating on its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At three o'clock it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At four o'clock it encountered an elephant. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At five o'clock it met a whale. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At five fifteen, the bad-tempered ladybird said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's fin, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At quarter to six, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's tail, Hey you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the bad-tempered ladybird such a slap and that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the bad-tempered ladybird arrived back where it started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybird. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired and hungry ladybird. Want to share them? Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybirds, and they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. That is the end of the story. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you soon. Bye!